Hey folks, hope you're doing well. I'm Don. You saw the title. First, shout out and a big thank you to Jacob Herricks. You requested the song and made a donation for me to do it, so I got on that right away. And uh, I'm doing Aaron Watson's Barbed Wire Halo. <laughs> I can't imagine what this is. I know years ago, I actually was thinking about getting a tattoo. I don't have any, but uh, my whole life I thought about getting one, but I couldn't get one. I couldn't think of one that represented me, that I actually thought that would represent me my whole life. And anything that was sort of spiritual or religious, I didn't need that because that would have been in my heart. And I didn't know, what, in any case. But the one tattoo I was seriously considering getting uh, some years back was a barbed wire, you know, the bicep one. And then uh, a few of the younger folks later in life, two of my surrogate daughters were like, oh, my God, thank God you didn't get that because it's so cliche. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Anyway, but when I see barbed wire halo, though, like, I can't even imagine where Aaron's going with this. But uh, shout out to you for this request. Jacob, let's see where we go. I like to have a hat on. All right. Aaron Watson's Barbed Wire Halo. Here we go. Amazing Grace. It's pretty. Oh, God bless Texas and Deacon Shackleford. Read the Bible seven times And he believed every word That old beat-up leather book Had been through it all He said on the back pew So he could chew him a child Singing amazing grace How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me He carried candy for the kids In his Sunday dress coat He'd take me fishing after church And taught me things I needed to know Now Deacon didn't have a family Lord knows he wished he did He told the whole congregation that I was his grandkid And today he joined up with Jesus Wearing shiny pearl snaps We sang a few gospel hymns And then the soldier played taps I bet he's walking with Pete Down the street paved with gold Showing up his friends Spanking new wings In his barbed wire hay <laughs> his barbed wire halo you gotta love the human brain when it comes up with stuff like this i don't even know fully what that reference is about but i got a film we're gonna find out this is a really well done song there's a lot of ingredients in this cake and so far it's working Mary, sweet amber grace before the war was through She held his right arm Next to his anchor tattoo He was on a ship off at sea When she died in childbirth oh, He lost dude. his whole world From the far side of the earth He Man. lost the will to love He lost the will to live Till he met a man who taught him to forgive Yeah, life took him to hell and back To hell and back a time or two But in the end he beat the devil Until he was black and blue singing I once was lost But now I'm found I was blind I bet he's walking with Pete down a street paved with gold Showing 
quite a vision. Before he went, he made me promise him that I wouldn't cry. And though I told him that I wouldn't, you know I couldn't help but lie. Cause today he joined up with Jesus, wearing shiny pearl snaps. We sang a few gospel hymns, and then the soldier played taps. I bet he's walking with Pete down the street. Yes, sure as the old church bell still rings He always said he had country in his soul He's showing off his red spanking new wings In his barbed wire halo Sweet chairs Well, come and for to carry so many references. Swing low, sweet chariot, come forth to carry me home. That is one heck of a song. You know I'm not rating that song. That's not one I do. There's so many elements in that of songs individually I don't rate. But that song had so many elements in it that were just so beautiful and woven together well. You had multiple gospel songs in there, but he had mentioned that they'd sat around and sang some songs. And obviously the, the excerpts and representations of those songs were emblematic of the ones that they'd sang together or in the service. They'd play taps, but the guy, this guy, Deacon Shackelford, uh, this song was too well written and too on the nose and sung so well. I don't know if it was written by Aaron. Whoever wrote this had to have known Deacon Shackelford. It, I don't think it would have just been gotten from newspaper clippings. Like The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald by Gordon Lightfoot. He said that he put that song together based on all these newspaper articles and media things that were coming out. And so he, he wove that story together. This does not strike me as that. This strikes me as very, very personal and sung very personally. So I don't know if Aaron knows Deacon Shackelford personally, but man, what, what a song. The instrumentation was just so unique and so spot on. It's like these creative efforts. Songs like paintings are crapshoots. You, you, there's nothing there, and then you're going to put something there. And then once that something is done, you present it, and you hope it works. It's like, it's like a meal. You're, cre if you're creating a meal that hasn't been done before, some different type of food. You just don't know, and it's a risk. It may be terrible. It might be fantastic. It might be mediocre. You, you might see lukewarm reactions. But this was such a creative effort on so many levels that uh, I don't know. And I'm not rating it because it was an homage to a gentleman named Deacon Shackelford. But what a hard world in which to live. Because you hear his story that he was uh, on a ship somewhere. Um, did he say, he, I don't think he mentioned war, but he, he, he was away. That was, I think, the implication. She gave birth while he was away and she died in childbirth. So he gets to come home to that. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, you know, when he gets home. It's just a very inhospitable place. But then that's why we have hope. I mean, different religions have different variations of heaven or an afterlife or some have reincarnation. The common notions of the Christian heaven is streets paved, as it were, with clear gold, I think the King James says. But that word clear could just be a, a mistranslation and it could mean pure gold. I don't know what clear gold would look like. That wasn't represented in the song, but Dean Shackelford would be walking down the street with Pete. He called him Pete. St. Peter, as sometimes he's known. Um, and then he reconnected with his wife, his wife that from here on earth, new, new wings, which is kind of funny. I find the, the wings funny because I think that that would be a, 
they were getting away. I'm not used to <laughs> having like a combination Birdman. I don't know. That always struck me as odd. But it's the way it's depicted where you fly off up into heaven with your angel's wings. But a barbed wire halo. I, what does that barbed wire halo represent? I always got the sense of barbed wire, like the, the fence keeping the cattle in. So was he a rancher, a farmer? I, I'm not sure. But Jacob Herricks, wow, what a suggestion. I am absolutely shocked that nobody's requested this before. And if you have, please forgive me. Yeah, you can thank Jacob for this donation request. And wow. And the contrast between like the first songs and this one too just shows like the range of musical taste that we all have. I mean, if somebody just came to the channel and saw what I react to, they would not know that I absolutely love The Clash and that I love Zeppelin and that I go back to Motown and such. And same thing with people within the country family. I mean, country mu music is kind of a wide net in ways. It, to me, it encompasses bluegrass, rockabilly, western, Texas swing, the whole red dirt, of course. And it involves traditional, Hank Sr. But it also elides into Nashville country, of course. And I love Miranda and Alan. But there are other artists that just the pop stuff. I just, I can't listen to it. But it's the variety here. So kudos to you, Jacob. And thank you again. All right, folks. That's it for this edition. What a beautiful, beautiful song. And... Were I to rate it, I'd give it a 10, but I'm not rating this thing. I have to just sort of stay pure on songs that are done as, uh, I don't know, in honor of another person. So there you go, folks. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.